Hi friends, good day and welcome to today on Princess Anna TV. Hope you all are doing fine and great. On this channel, we talk about aviation motivation and adventure. So if you've not yet subscribed, do me a favor, just click on the subscribe button. Trust me, you're going to be happy that you are part of this channel. Yes, if you are a lover of aviation, if you love everything travel, aviation, you want to become a pilot, you want to go that aviation journey, you are in the right place. So today's video, I want to be telling you guys the most popular aircraft currently in Nigeria, just in case you want to do a type rating. Because a type rating, I, I'm, I'm talking about just in case you want to do a type rating because if you're done with flight school and you want to go for a type rating on your own, you might have to just do your research outside and decide the type of aircraft you will want to do and so i don't want you to crack your head to go and start doing that research i decided to do that research for you and i'm excited to bring it to your table <laughs> so because princess anu has decided to bring it to your table tell me in the comment section princess anu thank you because yes i'm working well <laughs> so yeah now let's get a bit serious yeah we are always serious on this channel yeah, but you know, too much seriousness. Let's let's calm down a little and let's go straight into it. There are aircraft that are very, very popular in Nigeria that if you go do a type rating on them, you are likely to get a job even without a company giving you a job before you come back. Number one is the 737. Yes, there has been a lot of rumors that, oh, the 737 is about to be eradicated from nigeria people are going to the atrs people are going to the light jets people are going to blah 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 see guys 737 is still very very much in use and not only that 737 is very much in use we have mro that is maintenance organizations that are in nigeria that are working on that aircraft yes we have mro's for that aircraft they do their sea check in nigeria because doing a sea check is very expensive doing all those checks most most uh um companies that have aircrafts that they don't have mros in nigeria have to fly their aircrafts to far countries to go do c checks to go do d checks go to, to go do all those small checks and major checks so the fact that we have a place in nigeria where you can do those major checks is a plus more more people or more airlines will keep using it and there are a lot of airlines that have that aircraft maxi has that aircraft Airpiece has the 737. Aero has the 737. Uh, Arik has the 737. Like, I can go on and on mentioning airlines that have the 737. And not only that, in neighboring countries, Askai has the 737. Ethiopia has the 737. So, you will always, always get jobs having the 737. Now, it's, it's now dependent on who do you know to put you in like who do you know what can you do <laughs> yeah but once you go get the 737 you are likely to get a job another aircraft that is very very popular now in nigeria is the erg erg 145 erg 135 a lot of air airlines are beginning to bring in this aircraft and it's becoming more and more so the more the aircrafts are the more opportunities like that is in that field because a lot of um airlines who want to be recruiting people even if most of the time they want experienced people but they don't have a choice sometimes when they are so uh choked on or not having enough crew they will have to um employ ab initials even if sometimes they'll tell you come and fly for us for free blah 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 and all that but they will not have a choice they will have to take you some will want to use you in fact that is a story for another day some will want to use you just come and be flying for me no money no anything We'll talk about something like that later but trust me you will have the opportunity to even once you have that type rating there is a chance that you can have a job to do another uh aircraft that is popular in case you want to go to the charter side like you don't want to fly commercial you want to fly private jets you understand trust me flying private jets is sweet flying in the charter world is interesting <laughs> There are a lot of reasons why I would say it's interesting. I can go on and on giving you guys deep talks. And yes, that brings me back to my membership stuff. I'm still going to be creating more videos for the members on this channel. In case you're not yet a member, go and become a member. I know that I stopped creating videos for members, so some members left. 
and that's because of the whole busy schedule but i'm going to continue creating special videos and every video i release on the membership platform i don't release them on the full on the general page even if like i still give you guys everything on the main page but on the membership page like there are exclusive stuff inside that information that sometimes i'm being careful to release to the general house because anybody and everybody can just go to youtube and just get information no i want to be sure of kind of people that i'm releasing this information to that's why i release them only on the membership platform so just in case you want this kind of exclusive information feel free to go to the membership platform and click join join just click join and join me there join me there <laughs> So guys, as I was saying, there are a lot of other uh, airlines on a lot of other aircrafts and all that you can get in the charter side. But most importantly, a very, very good one is the HS125. They call it the Hawker. They call I know that when you hear chatter guys, they are always on the HS. They are always, always, always on the HS. Trust me, there are other sleeker aircrafts. But you know these ones are few. And you have like a tight employment scheme with them. But when you talk about the HS, you have a lot of HS. So if you want to go for the chatter side, you can go for the HS. Another aircraft in the commercial side that is also a very good one that you can go for is the CRJ. Now I can see that a lot of other aircraft, I've seen two airlines now, Ibom A has a CRJ, Value Jet has a CRJ, and I know that there are some private guys that are that are trying to convert the CRJ because you know the CRJ is not in a business jet kind of format. So most people, even when they buy aircraft, they want to convert it to a business jet because nobody wants to be flying in a business jet that looks like an economy class like everybody wants comfort like maximum comfort so you can also get the crg and guys the reason why i'm listing all these aircraft is because just in case you want to up, like up your career you've done your flight training you're thinking what next these are the areas i want you to do your research on check how much it's going to cost you to get this kind of type ratings check how much it's going to cost you to go to that country how to get your visa how to go to that country to get your type rating these are things that are really really going to help you and when you do your research about that you will now start looking for those companies that have those aircraft for you to be able to apply to them you look for who and who are the top guys in this yeah <laughs> sorry i just had some little light glitches yeah so just like i was saying you look for who and who are the top guys in this industry or in this airline and you now know how to approach them who to talk to and you now take that step of faith and go for your type rating the truth is a lot of people say that how will you go for your type rating when you've not got a new job yes it's a risk but there are a lot of things to that risk but it's a step forward most people will not want to listen to you as a pilot in fact they will not want to even talk to their friends or anything for you if you don't even have a type rating they'll be like oh what type rating does she have no, she doesn't have any type rating yet. Oh, she has to go and get a type rating. You know? Another person will be like, oh, what type rating does he have? Mm, I don't think. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. But once you have a type rating, nobody is going to be giving a lot of stories and, okay, go, go, come back tomorrow. Or, or things like, uh, let's see how it goes and all that. So your, your uh, delays are going to reduce. So these are some things I just thought I wanted you to know and you should work on. And I know that God is going to help all of us because every, every, all of us, we are still in this together. All of us. So guys, till I see you next time on the same channel, keep watching Princess Vanity TV. Bye.